Introduction Clock Tower, released in Japan as Clock Tower 2, is a survival horror point and click adventure game developed by Human Entertainment and released for the PlayStation in 19. 96. It is the second game in the Clock Tower series after the original Clock Tower, which was released exclusively in Japan for the Super Famicom one year prior. The story takes place in Norway and follows a variety of characters as they attempt to survive the return of the scissor man and uncover the mystery of his seemingly immortal state. The scenarios encountered and endings vary widely based upon the player's actions. Director Hifumi Kana wasn't interested in developing a sequel to the original Clock Tower at first, but was swayed after seeing the technical possibilities of the next generation consoles. Connor had difficulty in choosing the platform to develop on, but eventually settled for the new PlayStation despite its uncertain future. Clock Tower was one of the first games developed by Human Entertainment to utilize a 3D graphics engine. The team felt challenged to create high-quality graphics after being impressed by the visuals of Resident Evil, which was announced during development. Clock Tower was commercially successful, selling close to half a million copies. Kono attributed some of his success to Resident Evil, generating interest in horror games and the success of the PlayStation. Critical reviews of Clock Tower were mixed. The game's horror atmosphere and storyline were praised, although most other aspects were found to be mediocre. Most of the negative critic was directed towards the game's slow pace, which was compared unfavorably to other PlayStation games of the era, particularly the more action-oriented and fast-paced Resident Evil. These factors influenced some critics to recommend Clock Tower purely for point-and-click adventure fans. Gameplay Clock Tower is a point-and-click adventure game with 3D graphics. The player may use a PlayStation controller or mouse to move the cursor on the screen. The cursor will change shape when placed over certain objects, which the player can click to interact with. Clicking in any location will guide the player character in that direction. Moving the cursor to the top of the screen will reveal the player's inventory. Clicking an item and then clicking an object on the screen will use the item on that object or in that location. Some items such as keys are used automatically when clicked. Jennifer is directed to examine a computer after the player clicked on it. The player character has three levels of strength. The strength level is indicated by the cursor which will either be white, flashing yellow or red. Strength will decrease after extreme actions or being attacked by the game's enemy, the scissor man, and recovers with time. When the character's life is being threatened, the cursor will blink red, indicating panic mode. If the character is being chased, click points are only effective on objects that will make 
the Scissorman Retreat. In escape mode, actions do not lower strength and recovery is suspended. This mode stays active until Scissorman is somehow forced to retreat. If the player's strength reaches zero, then it's game over and the player must continue from the last room they entered with one level of strength. The game features four scenarios, including the prologue. The actions during the prologue determine who will be the central character in the story, either Jennifer Simpson or Helen Maxwell. The scenarios and player characters that follow are determined by the player's actions. There are five different endings per heroine depending on how the scenarios progress. After each scenario is a safe screen and an intermission mode that allows the player to explore without the threat of the scissor man. During the intermission the player can have conversations with various characters. The next scenario will begin after the required conditions of the intermission are met. Итак, я прочитал uh, плод, сценарий, да? Этого, в принципе, достаточно. Ну вот, как-то так. Примерно.